everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We've partnered with Tabasco to create a holiday menu and today we're making the dessert. This one will completely surprise you. It's a candied bacon and nut brittle. It's loaded with toasted nuts and the bites of spiced candied bacon are irresistible. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Toast one cup each of cashews and pecans in a dry skillet over medium high heat, tossing often. Once golden, coarsely chop and set aside to cool. For the candied bacon, combine one third cup of packed light brown sugar, two tablespoons of real maple syrup, and two teaspoons of Tabasco pepper sauce. Line a large rim baking sheet with foil and place a rack inside. Place one pound of thick cut bacon strips over the rack in a single layer. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Flip the bacon over, then brush the tops with half of your glaze. Bake another five minutes, then take it out of the oven Flip the bacon again and brush with the remaining glaze. Put it back in the oven for another five to seven minutes or until it's evenly browned. Once it's out of the oven, shift the bacon around slightly on the rack to prevent sticking. Pat dry with paper towels on both sides to remove any excess oil, then chop into half inch pieces. Toss your bacon and cooled nuts together and set them aside. Because brittle sets quickly, you want to have everything ready in advance. Line a large baking sheet with parchment paper and pull out two forks. To make the brittle, in a medium saucepan, combine one and a half cups of sugar, one third cup of water, a third cup of light corn syrup, and eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. Bring it to a medium boil, then cook it for 10 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. I highly recommend a candy thermometer. You know it's ready when it's reached 290 degrees Fahrenheit. That looks perfect. Now quickly stir in one teaspoon of baking soda. You'll see it foam up, then right away, stir in your chopped nuts and bacon. Immediately transfer that to your lined baking sheet and start pulling it apart with your forks. Now work fast because it cools quickly and you want to get it as thin as possible. Finally, smooth out the top with a spatula. Looks like you want some candy. Our bacon brittle is ready to be enjoyed and you know it's ready when it's cool to room temperature and it's firm. So just break off pieces. They don't have to be perfect. There we go, a little bit of everything in this bite. Mm -hmm. mm. The to bacon, <laughs> to bacon. <laughs> I guess we made up a new thing. <laughs> The Tabasco really brings out the flavor of the bacon and it helps to balance the sweetness. It is incredible. You have so much going on here. I mean, the crunchy nuts, you've got sweet, savory, salty, a little bit of heat, and it's a subtle spice which kind of lingers on your tongue. It is wonderful. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great recipes, and thanks for watching. Big thank you to Tabasco for sponsoring this yummy recipe. Bacon brittle makes for a really good homemade gift because it lasts for about a week at room temperature. So you can package it up and give it to your friends if you feel like sharing.